Hello, welcome to this video. This is a somewhat highly requested video. I don't know why, but whenever I have done like a organizing my manga or manga collection video, I get many comments asking for a room tour. And I'm here to deliver to the people. I'm giving them what they want. But just as a warning, my room is not aesthetic. It's not like a Pinterest room. I think I am very maximalist. I have a hard time letting things go. So things might look a little cluttered. Don't judge me. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so here is the view when you enter my room, my lair, so to say. And first glance, you see nothing is matching. You know, this place didn't come with furniture and most of it is from the side of the road with my bookcases as an exception. So let's start in this corner over here. You see my desk. And as you can see on my desk, kind of the typical desk stuff, you know, I got my laptop. I have something that we'll be getting to later. Some just random stuff, notepads, my mouse, some pens. And over there you see some fan art. And that is basically the main reason why I haven't wanted to make this video. I have a lot of fan art in my room that I've had some of it for almost 10 years now. And back in the day, I didn't do my due diligence to keep track of artists and get business cards, etc. So Everything that I can remember slash find the artist, I will link in the description. And if it doesn't have a link, that means I couldn't find it, but I will try my hardest to keep updating it as I go. But definitely the more recent works I have, I do know the artists of. So that out of the way, we move up from my desk with two art prints of Free and Your Lie in April. And here is my thing where I keep my keys and some masks. Because here in California, we still have the mask mandate. Get your vaccines, etc. And then up here, we have my small figure collection that I don't think I've really shown off in a video, but I have mostly prize figures, nothing really expensive other than one. And all of this I got while I was in Japan in 2017, so it's been a while. I haven't gotten that many new figures from then, but basically I have a signed Rise Up album. Astro is one of my top K-pop groups and I'll show you my K-pop albums later. But I also have some other ones like from Love Live, I love Rin, I love Nozomi, I love Haneo. Then we have some Crocus Basketball, Mellow from Death Note. And then over here, I have more of like my Makoto and Haru figures, Arkita and Hinata. And if you have questions about anything in my room, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to respond slash if I know where I got something from, I'll also provide you with that. And then down under my desk, I have my trash can. I think that's from the container store. It's a little panda. And then that folder has more of my posters and fan art and prints and stuff. And then in my desk is just typical desk stuff. But as you can see, this desk is beat up. That's why I put this white uh, contact paper on top of it because I literally got this on the side of the road. Broke college student tings, but I'm not a student anymore, so I don't really use this to study. But moving on from my desk, we have two bookcases over here. So these have been featured on my channel quite a bit. I'm not gonna go into all the manga I have, let me know when y'all want an updated collection tour. It's been like six months since I did my last one, but I want to try to do it only like once a year. So I can do that for y'all sooner rather than later if you want. But let me get through because my chair is also right here and some clothes I was wearing yesterday. So over here is my first manga shelf. I have the one figure that's expensive in my collection, the Dr. Stone Senku one. And then one of my Ida bags, box set, a framed <laughs> picture of Aoyagi and Tenshima from the manga. And the thing y'all usually don't see is the kind of like decorations I have on my manga shelf. I usually clear them off when I'm doing like filming on my shelves. As you can see, I have the Code Geass OST, some fan art of Teshima and Aoyagi, those Manju keychains, some more fan art, plushies, etc. The rest of my manga down here. And then going to this shelf, I have my Ida bags on top and some art books. I'm still finding the best way that I want to display my art books. I have some old Jian, some from the artist of Durara, Yao Peta art books, and then my Japanese manga and some more like trinkets, and then some of my more rare manga, and then down here is just like my junk pile, my Senku box, etc. And then moving up top, I have some posters. Like I said, some of these are almost 10 years old, but I will try my best to provide links to everything, or like at least the artists. I know they don't sell these anymore. I got them at conventions, etc. But then zooming out, here is my bed. The iconic bedspread that you see in all my videos. I don't know if I'll ever change this bedspread, even though I don't like it. I do not like this pattern. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. But I also have my Pikachu pillow pet. Back from when the pillow pet phase was a thing. But 
Looping up from my bed, I have this bulletin board. I know there's a glare, so you can't really see, but this has a bunch of fan art and charms, etc. on it. I can link all these artists, I know them. That's from one of my close friends made that for me and another one right there. And some more posters up here. Something else my friend drew me. And then over here is my <laughs> free wall scroll. My friend kind of got this for me as a joke and it just has stayed here because it's the only like official art I have in my room pretty much. But it was just so funny. We found it at a random anime store and she was like, you need to get this. And I was like, no. And she just ended up buying it for me and gave it to me like my birthday one year. But yeah, that is my bed area. And then I have this little lamp that I use to read my manga. Because I don't know if you can tell, but the lighting in here is kind of ass. So I need that to read so my eyes don't die. And then next to my bed, I have my little nightstand. Again, with the mismatching furniture. I don't, I'm sorry if this bugs people, but that's what I'm working with. So I have my water bottle, my cables, my AirPods, some tissues, etc. And then moving on a little bit, we have another bookcase. And on the top here is a glass painting my best friend made me for my birthday last year, I think. And then my army of candles. I am obsessed with candles. I love candles. And this is my knockoff Nozomi altar figure. I hope to get the real one one day and the Kotori. But for now, that is my little knockoff. I got it as a gift. Normally, I would not buy knockoffs, of course, but then moving down, we have some more of my larger manga, creator-specific stuff like Arakawa, Urasawa, Taiyo Matsumoto, etc. With some of my decorations, some of my nendroids. And then moving to the side, the manga bookcase that is featured the most on my channel, pretty much. Sorry for the odd lighting, but again, we have some decorations that usually you won't see. This pin that I love of 19 Days, an Okita figure, Tsuki in a cup. My dolls, I finally have clothes for my dolls. They were naked for a while there. And then my Tsuki and Yamaguchi Nendroids, my Yao Peta shelf. And then just some more manga down here. More Nendroids, where I store all my Nendroid boxes. And yeah, that is pretty much it. And then we move over to my closet. My closet also has some fan art on it. It's kind of disjointed because I kept like knocking the corners and bending them. So I took off some of my more like prized ones. So again, I'll link the artists if I can find them. And my closet just has clothes, but there's like one other thing that might be interesting in it. So let me open it up and try to get a good angle in there since it's dark. So in here, banished the closet with my clothes is the remaining K-pop albums I have. I used to have like over 500 albums and these are just ones I kept due to like sentimental value pretty much. Like I have some rare albums like Street by EXAD, my first ever album, Tear by BTS. A bunch of end flying albums etc i have a concert ticket from when i saw stray kids my nct light stick because i also saw them and a6 basically i kept everything that i have gone to a concert to or just has sentimental value and then moving down is my block b shelf which are my old group and i have pretty much all their albums and their light stick because i saw zico in concert and then the remaining of my stray kids albums back there i only kept i am who i'm you and the banter i'm pretty sure and then moving down, my other old group is Astro. So I have all their albums up to in and out because I don't really collect albums anymore. I'm kind of just keeping my collection stagnant. And then I have my signed Autumn Story album. So yeah, that is pretty much my whole room. My K-pop albums <laughs> banished to the closet. And then also right here is my mirror that's covered by this scarf, which I usually use to cover my manga because this one shelf back here is exposed to light most of the time. So yeah, that is all, and let me give you one last final overview. So yeah, here's one last overview of my room. It is pretty small, actually. As you can see, I can only fit a twin-sized bed in here. Yeah, here is my room. Hope you enjoyed. And like I said, since I'm not a student anymore, what do I use my desk for? Yes, I do have another hobby that I don't really show on the channel that much. I have, if you've seen some of my older videos, but I really love to journal. And this thing is something that really helps me with said journaling. So let's get into it. So Fomomo sent me their M02S mini printer to review. I chose the purple one and I was really excited about it because I have always wanted one of their products. I always see it around on journaling, Instagram especially, and I was always super jealous because I never had one. And basically it's a portable thermal printer and it's really convenient because it is inkless. You do have to buy the paper to put in it, but it's much cheaper than ink, which can rack up in price so fast. And to use the printer, it connects to your phone through the app and you can print out designs from there. The app has pre-made templates as well, like to-do lists if you want to use this for like your planner, etc. 
And in the description, I'll link the Amazon link to this printer specifically and also to their website where they have other printers such as larger ones that can make shipping labels, etc. And I think this would be a really cool gift since we are getting closer to the holidays for any crafty person in your life. I really did enjoy using this and trying it out. I wouldn't endorse a product I thought was bad. So again, thank you to Phone Memo for reaching out to me and let me know if you would like to see more journaling content on my channel or on my IG, etc. Since it is a hobby I really enjoy, even though I'm not the best at calligraphy, etc. It's quite therapeutic in a way to me, actually. So yeah. So again, thank you for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Kind of random, but I know it has been a little tiny bit requested from y'all. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and thank you for watching. Thank you.